Hey, I'm Kristen. I blog at Raging Against the Minivan. And I'm Sarah, and I blog at Whirl. And we had an interesting question from one of my readers. Mm -hmm. And she wants to know, what do you do when you and a very close friend have really different parenting styles, and there's no escaping being around them and the kids? Um, which is interesting, because we have very similar parenting styles. Mm -hmm. Like, very similar. Yes. Which is why I think we've always, like, vacationed together with ease. and Yes. Um, and I can imagine that could be really difficult. Well, didn't you have some pretty different parenting styles in your neighborhood before you moved? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How did that work Yeah, out? there were some different ones. Well, I mean, first off, she said it's a good friend. Right? Okay, yes. It's a good friend. Yeah. So, because that puts a whole nother... That's true. That's just like that's a whole nother spin to yeah. have someone that you're very good friends with. I think, mm -hmm. ultimately, you just have to grin and bear it. That's, that's, yeah. I mean, that's, my, that's my top line answer. I know it's yeah. a lot more... Um, it, it you know detailed than that but I think you have to just everybody you have to allow people to be who they are oh, yeah. I mean, um, but unfortunately it, it I wish she would have elaborated a bit because if we're talking things that she feels like are unsafe for her children mm -hmm. or a situation a perfect example is um, I am not really that into guns yeah um, and, but I'm also living in a state now where lots of people love guns and there's guns in homes um, right. of people that places where my children go and it makes me very, very nervous yeah. when they're not put away in a safe or they might be somewhere where, so think, you know, something like that, you know, I, I would never like judge that person or get up all in their face about it. But you know what, if we're going to do play dates, the kids are going to come to my house. Yeah. You know? Oh, completely um, agree. So I think you just kind of have to like. Grin and bear it. Mm -hmm. Figure out ways to kind of work around it. It can, it can be really difficult. Like we, I have a really good friend who um, lets the kids be on devices 24-7. Yeah. And so it's like when we get together, well, first of all, then what my children do is just crowd around her kids and yes. their devices. Yes. And so it's like they're just watching YouTube or iPads all right. day. Right. And it starts to feel like, okay, well, why are we together? And, right. you know, I want them to have quality friendships with one another. But then I, you know, then my kids are complaining, like, why can't we be on our iPad? And it's like, no. well, because oh, we're with gosh. friends. I the point of being feel friends. the same way, and I feel like we have just I come up with a spinoff on this because okay. the whole the, just the whole screens. We're gonna we'll talk about that another oh, yeah, screen time because we I should. Should. it's out of it's out of hand. But it's so yeah, and so I've even like then it gets really awkward because I did once mention to a friend I said you know when we get the kids together like this time do you think that they could leave their iPads at home and it it was like it wasn't not good super awkward. Like and that's the thing. People feel like you're judging. They feel like you're judging, and so it's. But I'm just trying to make their time together quality. Like, oh, I get it. I totally get it. So that that's happened to us several times. I mean, Dustin would rather our children never be in front of a screen ever. Well, whereas I mean, well, I, in a perfect world, I would too. But that's yeah. not happening. <laughs> no, I mean, but to me, if an opportunity is available to be interacting with other people, oh, absolutely, especially at a play date or something, yes. that is not a time for screens. Oh no, absolutely. You know, like a time for screens is like at seven a.m. on Saturday morning when I don't want to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> just go find that iPad and somewhere yeah. in there, honey. Yeah, yeah. But I am always really surprised when friends just you know when we're together. I mean, that's not that often. Like how often no. are we really together? Like. Let's let the kids like interact I with one another. I completely agree. So I think this the I mean the the sad the, the answer she probably doesn't want to hear is you just have to deal with it. I, I mean, know. They're, but you it can't change your friend. But it does. It stinks. It's lame. Or just or well, no. We have some friends. I mean, maybe, apparently I have a lot on my chest about this. But like we have other friends. Well, and this is kind of popular in the adoption community. Like people will do like attachment parenting, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes that translates to certain um, discipline. Uh, strategies mm -hmm. and by discipline strategies I mean there is none oh yeah you know it's like non-violence parenting or child-led parenting right which to me I don't know like I mean I'm all about attaching with my kids but yes. I'm also all about like natural consequences yes like, it's like pay now or pay later to me parenting so yes. it's like I want to teach them what they can and can't get away with now because I don't want them to walk out into the world or lots of thinking it revolves around them so there have been times when it's been very difficult for me. And I'm a marriage and family therapist. I know. So it's so hard not to be like, um, did you want to let them hit you in the face and say nothing? <laughs> How yeah. is that serving them? I know. Like, and then I'm just like, no, pulling my hair true. out. But I also th 
think, let's spin this on another way, like the positive aspect that, you know, maybe sometimes, even though it's not your parenting style, you can take something away from mm -hmm. it that might benefit you as a parent. And like, I'm, I'm not going to be like use, that? Yeah, kind of. But no, <laughs> I would use you as a perfect example because we have similar parenting styles. Yes. But I, I think I'm way better now. But a couple, I mean, I was pretty neurotic as a parent for a while. I don't find you to be neurotic. And I remember- You were more our, safety I was, concerned Yeah, safety, than me. that's, a, that's, that's true. a good, so like we would meet at the park. That's very the first true. couple times we met at the park, your kids were yeah, out. Yeah, by. No, it wasn't like that. <laughs> they, you know, you knew where they were, but you were yeah. letting them roam free, which I have come to be like that. I'm so glad you did that. I also love that in your home, they have their chores. Uh -huh. And you, you know, and you can let it go that the chores might not be done the way you want them to be done, but they, they do yeah. it and it's happening. Whereas yeah. me and my husband, it's like, just let me do it because I can do it better. <laughs> because it, yeah. Well, so I mean, I let them do it because I know I have a housekeeper who will actually, well, no, it's sort of I'm like going through the motion. No, you shouldn't because it's really, I mean, <laughs> those two things about you, I've learned from you and I've, you know applied it to my own parenting and it's been very beneficial. Yeah. So maybe this friend of yours, mm -hmm. uh, maybe there's something that will end up actually helping you in your own parenting, you know, if you just kind of, yeah. but yeah. I, it's just tough though. Yeah, I mean, I, I find that stuff to be like grating me, irritating. Yeah. And maybe oh, yeah. it's because I'm a therapist or maybe everyone does, but yeah, no. when you're watching someone parent in a way that you feel like is actually to the detriment of a child, yes, it's really hard. Yes. I mean, especially for me when I see kids just being really entitled yes. or not being yeah. disciplined at all, I just, because I know how that ends. They yeah. end up in my office and it's not so good. True. You know? Yeah, so very good it's, point. It's very frustrating. But yeah, I do think you just have to grin and bear it or talk to your spouse on the way home about it. <laughs> Bet you got it on the ride home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>